Hey everybody, the quick verdict here is that I like this product. Stay tuned and watch the video and see why I like it so much. At the end of the video I'll talk about the price and then also I will give you an exclusive code that you can use to get your own discount on this security footlight. Well, guess what I received in the mail today? The good folks at Sansi Electronics has uh, sent me something new to review. This is the same company that made a super bright LED floodlight that I have previously reviewed. You can find it in my videos and I will link it up up above in the cards. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised with this product um, it's not like anything I have found on Amazon and so this is something brand new that they're offering and they wanted me to check it out and share with you guys what I thought uh, this will be an honest review I will give pros and cons that I come across as I uh, set this up and use it but this is called the Stellar Cam and what it is is it's a floodlight and a security camera all built in it works off of a motion sensor um, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this out I think I'm gonna break this review up into four parts first I'm going to look at the build quality and then second I'm going to look at the installation and how difficult or easy the installation is next I'm going to review the user interface and how easy or hard it is to set up and then I'll review its performance and see if it lives up to all of the claims that they make here on the the outside packaging so I hope uh, this is something that you're interested in and if you are stick around okay let's uh, take a look inside the package here um, this is how it comes out of the box first let's take a look at the outside see what it says here so Nice logo on the top. Um, it says uh, the, it's called the Stellar Cam. Okay, I know you probably can't see that, but there you go. So let's take a look at some of the features that they claim on the outside of the box. <clears throat> Stellar Cam is an intelligent security lighting system with a mobile phone. The users can control the light and the camera. Motion alerts in your phone. HD live video with voice calls smart light control and high capacity video storage here on the side panel it gives you an idea of what the interface on the phone looks like I'm hoping I can access it from a computer attached to the same network um, and then here's a couple of instructions and it tells you what's inside the box here and on this panel it gives you some more uh, detail about the features so first it tells you about the app. You can use the app to set up the motion sensor. You can watch over your phone. You can sound a siren. You can control the light and you can schedule the lighting pattern. Here's some more features of the camera. It says secure your home, feel safe, instant motion no notifications, adjustable resolution live video, infrared night vision, manage and organize videos in app, weather resistant design. So it appears that this Stellar Cam is supposed to just about do everything for security in your home and I guess we're going to test that so let's go ahead and open the package this is how it comes out of the box they use Amazon for their fulfillment services um, we open it up and we get a, some things right in the top of the box um, this looks like a, some setup instructions um, this looks like, um, it's like a thank you card, but I guess they have a VIP, like a rewards club maybe. I'll have to look into that a little bit later. This looks like a weatherproof gasket for when you mount it to the outside of your home. Got some custom cut foam in here. That's kind of nice. This is what the camera looks like in the box. Um... It's also obviously a floodlight. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I was uh, turned on to this because I have a dark 
back corner of my house and I wanted an automatic floodlight and the fact that this comes with a built-in camera as well just adds to the appeal for me. So here is the floodlight portion. It's these super bright LEDs. I've reviewed these before um, with the, uh, the Sansi uh, work light review that I did and I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards and down in the description below. I see a wireless antenna. Looks like a little weatherproof reset button right there. And I don't know, I guess this is the motion sensor portion. And then here is the camera module. And I think this is the grill for the speaker because it does have an alarm you can set up. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. Um, it is made out of plastic, but I kind of knew that uh, going into this. Um, they make all of their products out of plastic. The LEDs themselves are surrounded by these ceramic elements that help uh, keep the heat from the LED from affecting the plastic that it's attached to. They work really well. To be honest with you, these LEDs don't get very hot in the first place. And so I feel perfectly comfortable having this attached to the side of my house. Looks like the camera is adjustable on a little ball joint back here. And here is your line power. And, uh, you know, this is actually kind of nice. This is a, a nice, decent gauge of wire. I'm thinking maybe 14 or 16 gauge. Um, usually these come with really um, weak, thin wires. Uh, they are aluminum, not copper. Not a big deal with the amount of power that this will be drawing. And um, another thing that I like is that these are actually like U.S color-coded wires sorry these are like US color-coded wires um, a lot of times when you buy products that come from China the colors are off I think there's like brown and blue instead of white and black um, so that's just a nice little added feature it tells us that the US is the target market for this product and so that's why they color-coded the wires accordingly Along with the box, or along with the um, the unit, it comes with this small installation kit, and um, I'm not sure what's in here. I'm assuming there's screws, wire nuts, or brackets, or something. So yeah, it comes with some wire nuts, a metal bracket, and some screws. And the metal bracket will probably come in handy with attaching it uh, to the siding, um, I or probably maybe to a light fixture housing that would go in um, a ceiling or something, but I'm not going to do that. I'm attaching it to the side of my house, above the door, on the exterior. But we'll get to that later on in this video. So, first impressions of this guy here. Um, nice and heavy. Being heavy doesn't necessarily mean it is well made, but um, it definitely doesn't have like a loose tolerance cheap plastic feel to it as well there's no real there's no rattle you know and um, it just seems like a pretty solidly built unit so that's about all the judgment I'm going to make at this point in the review now we get to move on to the installation portion of this review Okay, so step one in this process of installation uh, is to download the app. So I went ahead and I downloaded the app and it requires you to create an account and um, you know, this will be used later on after I install the camera and get power to it. Um, there's some pros and cons that come to mind already as uh, I look at this this software. First of all, like many of the uh, cameras that are in this class um, it requires a proprietary app to, to run, be able to monitor and manage your videos um, there's a lot of other brands out there that do that um, you know uh, Dropcam and, and um, Ring and some others come to mind and 
it's all well and good. I, I'll uh, go over the user interface on this app once I get the camera up and running. My only concern right now is that Sansi, this is the only uh, camera offering that they have. They don't make, they don't sell any other type of security cameras or anything. They only sell the one that's attached to the security floodlight and it's a pretty, there's a, you know, it's, it's a pretty big price tag if you wanted to just get a network of these working around your house. Hopefully in the future they will offer a standalone camera. Uh, I suspect that they, they will and this may be just like the first phase of them rolling that out because as I was looking through the app, it looks, well, you know, it looks pretty thoughtfully laid out and um, <clears throat> it looks like they put a lot of thought and effort into making this user friendly. Uh, time will tell. Once I get it set up, we'll be able to find out. But there's that. I'm going to go ahead, for the purposes of this review, I'm going to install this light and camera temporarily inside my shop just so I have a controlled environment to kind of review uh, its performance and um, maybe later on if I have the time I will install it in the permanent location it's going to live and I will have footage of that at the end of this video. Okay so I'm gonna quickly hook up this power to this spare cord that I have here. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take a, a deck screw and just screw this into the wall through that hole right there. Um, it doesn't have to be super secure because it's not going to be up there permanently. Just give me one sec. Alright, got the unit right here. It's got a single hole in the center. I've got a deck screw that my camera probably won't focus on. I'm just going to drop the deck screw right here in the hole, like that, and I'm going to hop up there and attach it to the wall. You probably won't see me, or at least my, you will see me. You probably won't see the action though, because I'll be in the way. And it would help if the camera was pointed in the right location, but there it is. It's pretty nice. One screw and you're good to go. Um, obviously, if, if I was mounting this permanently, it would have to go um, on the right type of an electrical box with a permanent electrical connection. But right now, I'm just using this pigtail right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into a power strip with a switch. So that way I can turn it on and off as desired. Okay, so, got a power switch, or a power Power, it's not a power strip, it's a power station. Plug her in, turn her on. The light already comes on. I'm curious if that's just because I'm moving. I got a little red light that's flashing. So, in the meantime, we'll go to my phone here see what happens here. Set up my device. Uh, what would you like to call this Stellar Cam? I'm going to go ahead and call it the backyard because that's where it's going to be. Oh look, it comes with a little video. Configured. It just told me something about being configured. I didn't hear it. Alright, it's, it, it's actually giving you videos on how to install, which is nice. Alright, I heard the voice prompt. Is the light on the bottom of your floodlight cam flashing? It is. Alright, so now I have to enter my Wi-Fi password. It automatically uh, found it for me. Let's do that real quick. Alrighty, connecting. I don't know how much of this is actually in focus. I apologize if it's out of focus. Come on. There we go. I wonder if I can lock the focus here. 
Okay, so it says device connecting. We'll see how long it takes here. I'm going to keep the camera running just so we can document the length of time it takes to connect. Connecting. Please wait. It said something. I don't understand what it said. <laughs> Sounded like it's connected to router successfully. All right, connected to router successfully is what it said there. Okay, so now here it is, and it's already recording me um, because I'm in front of it. All right? All right, there you go. Look at that. I'll turn the volume down so I don't talk over myself. So as soon it, there there you guys are right there there's the camera and you can see the the whole mess going on in my shop right now and um, it's uh, capturing me because that's what this is designed to do it automatically captures anything that uh, any movement that it sees um, you have the option it looks like to download the video which it just did. Um, uh, I don't know if it downloads it to the app or if it downloads it to your phone. So let me check. It looks like it downloads it to the app. So let's go back to the app here. <clears throat> okay. Go back. Click on here. Downloaded videos. It shows up right there. Downloaded videos. And there is my saved video. So. If it captures something and I find it to be suspicious or whatever, I can save it um, to the app. You can also set up motion alerts. Um, I don't want to set up a new device. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what else I can do. I click on the device. I can turn the light off. I can turn the light back on just from there. I can turn on and off motion alerts so it'll actually push notification. Um, it's got a siren. So if there's just some suspicious activity going on in the backyard and I don't like it and I want to scare off whatever's back there, do you want to turn on the bell? Alright, admittedly that's a little corny, but I guess. Um, you know, if somebody's doing something in the backyard they're not supposed to be doing, any type of noise would probably scare them off. Alright, device health gives us uh, some statistics on uh, how this is uh, performing. It allows you to format the memory card that's built in. I think it's just 16 gigabytes. Um, but it's enough to, it saves all these clips on the device and, and then once the device, once the memory gets completely full, then it just starts to overwrite the oldest clips. So that's why it would be important to save uh, your clips of interest on your app. We have light settings. Okay, so we have a 24 hour mode. Uh, I can adjust the motion zone. So I can have it, um, I can adjust the sensitivity with the slider. I can turn off zones just like that and then I can tell it how many uh, how long to leave the light on after motion is detected so right now I haven't moved enough to make the light go off so let me move and there the light goes back on so then according to this after 30 seconds the light will turn back off I can schedule the light to work um, only during certain times, which is nice. It's no need of having it turn on when we're moving around the back of the house during the day. And I'm not sure about this. I think this just means that the sensor, the motion sensor, I don't know. I'll have to look up that one, the 24 hour mode there. We have an event history which uh, shows you a little calendar and it says every time it recorded something on each one of those dates and it will link it to each of the videos if they're still available. 
Okay, we have a separate settings for motion sensitivity. Um, so very small movements, moderate amount of movement, maximum amount of movement in order to set off the light and the camera. And you can also set up a schedule for motion sensing so the camera doesn't constantly um, record. So like this is good for if you were in like if you had it set up for a backyard and like in my instance I leave my dogs out during the day and I wouldn't want to have just non-stop clips of my dogs running around in the backyard so the dogs come in at night and I would have this set up to this scheduled to only record motion at night so you can set the day and the time okay and I think that's uh, pretty much a good overview of the software um, that's app settings and they have a help center there all in all pretty uh, straightforward and easy to use this is actually the very first time I'm using it I'm, as I'm explaining it to you I haven't looked at it before this time so here it is after dark I've got all the lights out of my shop I just wanted to test the brightness of this floodlight to see uh, how well it lights up the room so right now my camera is facing the doors of my garage which uh, is actually the opposite wall from where the light is mounted about so that's about 25 feet away from the light source so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on and uh, this is the quality of light that we get from um, the light source so at about 25 feet so what I can do here is I can pan the camera around and you can see where the lights coming from over in that corner definitely a decent amount of light and enough to uh, find your keys and unlock your door and definitely enough to shine a light on anything any animal or person that would be passing by um, that you would want to get a good look at so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it to the light output of the work light the Sansi eight element work light that I have previously reviewed so I'm going to set that up right now and switch over to that so here is the original Sansi floodlight that I had previously reviewed it's got the same number and the same type of LED units I guess you could say which is eight and as you can see the performance is just about equal to the performance of the security floodlight that I'm reviewing right now. Okay, so I've been using this product for uh, about a week now, and it's time for a final verdict. And the verdict is that I like it. Um, this is the first time I've used any type of a security type camera uh, in my home, and the experience has been more or less pleasant. I mean the user interface is great. Uh, it's very intuitive. Uh, I have a whole list of stuff that I put on my phone here that I'll, I'll read off. Um, so the Sansi Stellar Cam is comparable to the Ring security camera slash floodlight offering that Ring makes and you can tell that Sansi is trying to compete with that exact unit. The big difference here would be the price. There are some small differences I'll go over, but the main difference is the price. The Sansi offering is about two-thirds the price of the Ring offering, and I think pound for pound, this is uh, definitely worth it. And I think if you compare both feature by feature, uh, this one outweighs the competition on what they offer for the cost. The Ring Floodlight Camera offers some extra features such as it has Amazon compatibility, you can use it with Alexa, and you can customize like the sensing regions. Um, and so you do get those extra features, but it costs about 50% more than the Stellar Cam here that I'm reviewing. 
As far as the Stellar Cam uh, goes, after using it for about a week, here's some of my observations. First of all, it does have night vision, and the night vision works. It's not phenomenal, but it, it works pretty good. Um, I will put some uh, example video up here as I am talking about the quality of the video. So it's good for stealth filming without the light, um, but you know this the whole purpose of this is to have a light that comes on whenever you see activity. So I'm not sure night vision is actually you know really needed in this type of application. Um, the quality of the video is fine. It's it is a surveillance camera. I think uh, it's high resolution, um, but it may not be like 1080p, and I'm not sure. Um, but you can judge for yourself by the example videos that I put up here. Um, as of this review, there is no subscription-based model to access your camera or your videos, and that is kind of a business model of some of these others, including the Ring floodlight camera. And so that that is a pro. Uh, now, in the future, if they implement this, that's always a possibility, but for the time being, it's not happening. The app works on multiple devices, so as many phones and tablets that are in the house can access this camera at any time. I went ahead and installed the app on several of my devices in the home and it worked great. I was able to transfer saved videos um, to my phone from the app, so that's nice for if I wanted to archive or, or if I wanted to offload it onto my computer and put it in a video such as this, as you can see. I can access the camera and I can receive notifications from anywhere. It doesn't have to just be on my home network. So on my phone, I can be anywhere in the world and I can open the app and access my camera, which is also a nice feature to have, especially if you're using it to monitor some area. So look, before I talk about the things I, I wish the camera had or maybe some of the drawbacks about the camera, let me talk about the things that I love. First of all, um, I love the brightness of this light. I believe that this floodlight is the best on the market right now for LED floodlights. I said it before in my review of the work light that I did and I still it still stands. It is a very clean, bright light and it takes up a small package. It doesn't use a lot of energy and it does not generate any heat. The quality of the video is really good and you'll be able to make out very minute details in the videos uh, whether it's under full daylight or under the use of the floodlight or even in the night vision you're going to be uh, satisfied with the quality of the video. It has a very competitive price point considering all the features that it offers and considering what it's competing against. And the app is very intuitive, the device was very easy to set up and everything's very easy to use. You don't have to be uh, like a security cam expert or you don't even have to have a lot of experience with these things in order to get it up and running right away. Some of the things that I wish uh, would be included with this or that I wish the company would focus on, um, I wish you could record from live, from the live view mode on the app, which I couldn't find any way that you could do that. I wish there was a little record button, you go to live view and you just hit the record button and record your own clips uh, as you desire. I wish uh, you could access this device from a PC or have it on a network that and use it as kind of a continual surveillance camera or an IP cam which you, as far as I can tell you can't do. And here's the biggest drawback right now for this company and this product. This is the only security camera option that Sansi has available in their lineup of all of their products. So if I wanted to have a network of Sansi cameras I would have to buy um, floodlight cameras for every location that I'd want a camera. There's some locations where I don't feel like I need a floodlight. Um, and so I'm hoping that this is just the first of a line of products that they're going to roll out and that would include standalone cameras and other security options that would work well with the app and that all communicate with each other so you could kind of build a security network around your whole house. So how much does this product cost? If you go to Amazon right now, and you can use the link that I provide in my description below, uh, the cost of this Sansi Stellar Cam is $169.99.
If you use the coupon code SUPERSMART, you will receive 20% off your order. That takes about $34 off the price of this camera, which really makes it a steal because it puts it, the price point below even the cheaper knockoff versions of the ring and um, just some of the cheaper junk that you can find on Amazon. So my suggestion would be to uh, follow that link down in the description, use the coupon code SUPERSMART, pick yourself up one, try it out, let me know what you think. As for me, I'm going to go ahead and install this in its permanent location. I went ahead and bought all the supplies that I need to to uh, hook it up and uh, mount it outside on the house and hopefully I'll have that done before this video goes out and I'll have some examples of uh, how it looks. Thanks again to Sansi for sponsoring this video, sending me out a product to test. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised. And thanks to you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.